Hey you guys, it's Missy Lynn and if you are watching this video, you are interested in knowing how to bleach your teeth, get white teeth, or just see how I bleach and get white teeth for myself. So I will first start off by saying that there are several different ways to bleach your teeth. You can use peroxide. I know people who actually just rinse their mouth with peroxide, do not swallow. Um, I know people who will actually get the Crest White Strips at the highest percentage that they can and use that. I know people who actually go to the little boots in the mall. I think that's like Zoom whitening. And then people who actually do the dentist in office bleaching and they can bleach it for you that's normally what they do after you take your braces off if you've had braces or you can do the at home bleaching system where you get the custom fitted teeth trays and then you get the uh, gel that you can use inside of the trays to bleach your teeth and that's what I did I'm starting to drink coffee every day and I was starting to notice my teeth being slightly stained and I was like oh no I'm not about to walk around with yellow teeth it wasn't yellow but just for me I knew the difference between how my teeth used to be and what they were becoming so I talked to my dentist and he offered to make me some trays and I know you're gonna be like why are you touching these trays if they go in your mouth but don't worry I brush and I soak them in boiling hot water before I even put them in my mouth just to get rid of the germs and brushing and whatnot but um, he made me these trays and they are custom fit trays they fit perfectly with my teeth they go all the way back and they fit really snug around each tooth and they basically took impressions of my teeth and then made the trays based on that top and bottom the whitening gel that my dentist recommended was the opalescence gel. These are the disposable pre-filled uh, little syringes and they have the whitening gel inside of it. I purchased mine on Amazon and I only paid like 20 something dollars for it. I think after shipping it was like around 30, 35 dollars. But it was really, it, it was worth it because I read a lot of reviews on it. Uh, they have the 10%, the 15%, there is the 20%. I want to say there's a 25% but I'm for sure that there's a 35% 35% being the highest When I say these percentage uh, this is basically the strength of the uh, carbamide peroxide that actually bleaching your teeth so I didn't want to go all the way up to 35 because my teeth were not that stained it was not that yellow so I was just like okay so I read reviews and I saw that 10% worked on some people but people really never saw a difference and then there was 15 percent my dentist recommended me doing the 15 to 20 percent either one because my teeth were i want to say a number four on the teeth chart there's a teeth chart in most dentist's office that basically shows you where you are on the scale i want to say on the teeth scale there was like one to twelve in different colors number one was the whitest and number 12 was like the the darkest it was it was nasty but I was a number four so I was only three shades away from being the whitest that there could be so I was like okay well I know that it won't take me long to achieve the whitest of the whitest so why not just go with the 20% so I went with the 20% and it worked oh my gosh seriously after me doing it the third time I saw a difference and I was like Wow. The only thing is that they, they recommend that you bleach for about two hours the first couple of times just so your teeth can um, kind of get used to it because your teeth does get really, really, really sensitive. The first night, I slept with it overnight. Uh, I slept with it for eight hours overnight and oh my God, it hurt so bad. Like, I couldn't even talk because the wind, like just the air itself was so... It, it tortured my teeth. I was like, oh my gosh, it hurts. And then I didn't bleach the next day. Then the day after that, I bleached and I only bleached for two hours. And then I didn't bleach the next day. And then the uh, third time that I did it, I slept with it overnight and I didn't have a problem with sensitivity. Uh, I did go out and I bought the Sensodyne toothpaste and that helped relieve all the sensitivities. So, so I was able to sleep with it overnight and not have any difficulties with it. I know that there are some people that use the Zoom whitening and it's like a little mouthpiece with the light that actually bleaches your teeth. I'm not sure how that works. If you've used it before, comment below and let me know. But I like the custom fit trays because you basically just squirt a little... BB size amount of gel around to each little tooth area and then you slide it on and then I usually I usually just use my thumb and push up and then bite down to make sure that 
it's really secure and that it's all the way on and I'm good to go. Like I said, you can buy the opalescence on Amazon and this is not a sponsored video. They don't even know that I'm doing this. But I bought it and I want you guys to know that you can go ahead and purchase it online. It's readily available for you guys. With the gel being so cheap, I will inform you that the trays will probably be the most expensive. I don't know how the dentist's office work where you're from, but you can call around and just ask them how much they'll charge for custom bleaching trays um, for your teeth. And I know that in certain areas it's like $200 for the custom trays but you can get the gel for like $40 and mine came with four syringes I only use one syringe for six times because you only need a little bit so it really lasts me uh, six times that I bleach and I still have three left I'm gonna bleach after this video I didn't wanna you know bleach now and then be talking with a lisp and stuff but um, yeah, so you get four syringes that you can use like six to seven times depending on how often you do it. I used the Crest White Strips a few times and the only reason why I did not like them was because it would slip. It's like a little uh, clear sheet of paper with gel on it and it, it slides a lot so I didn't like it. Uh, if you have semi-white teeth but you know that you can make it a little bit whiter, I would suggest going with the 15 to 20 percent but if you have uh, stained teeth I would say go with the 25% I, I wouldn't go with the 35% your teeth are going to be so 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 sensitive so I would go with like the 25% and then I would just kind of start off bleaching maybe two hours a day and then just see how it looks over a week and then over two weeks and then just slowly increase your hours if you can handle the sensitivity oh another thing that I will say is that the first time you bleach and you leave it on for like two or three hours well for me when I took it off I had like a white stain on my tooth and I was like what the hell I was like man I don't bleach my teeth to the whitest of the whitest but it only bleached in like a small area but that's called decalcif decalcification and that just means that a certain area of your tooth is dehydrated so it bleaches a lot faster but it goes away after like a day or two but I was just like, mm mm, I can't be talk. I can't talk, and I have this white stain on my tooth. But then when I bleached the second time, um, I bleached, and then it all just kind of went together. And then you want to be careful because you don't want to get the gel on your gums. So whenever you put it in into the tray, don't put too much because then it'll like it'll kind of squirt all the way up and you don't want it to get on your gums because then your gums can get a chemical burn and it's like little white spots on your gums. I, I, that happened to me too the first time and I was like, oh my gosh. Like I freaked out the first time because I got a chemical burn on my gums that left like after 10, 15 minutes. And then the next morning when I woke up, I had a white spot on my tooth. And then I went to the dentist and I was like, oh my gosh, what is this white tooth? I can't even talk and I like to smile, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, don't worry, it just means that your tooth is dehydrated. And don't even ask me how a tooth can be dehydrated. That's something that, that I need to look up on Google because I was like, what? Am I not drinking enough water? How is my tooth dehydrated? But I don't know. So that's something that, matter of fact, that could be homework for you guys. That could be like something that you guys look up, you know, like how does your tooth become dehydrated, decalcification. So yeah, so that is basically it for my teeth whitening program that I do at home. Um, I just wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys are interested, call around, get prices for the custom fitted bleaching trays, and then you can go to Amazon.com, type in opalescence, and then um, you can get the 10% to 35% depending on the color of your teeth and it works by golly oh my gosh it works seriously so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video rate and subscribe